Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, it's The Cube at IBM Interconnect 2015. Brought to you by headline sponsor, IBM. Grado here. I'm at IBM Interconnect in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is Cube on the Ground, and I'm here with Jeff Sheehan. He's one of the VIP influencers for IBM, and we're here just talking about social media for business. So, Jeff, can you tell me a little bit about how you became a VIP influencer and your realm in social media in general? Uh, but basically, I've been in, uh, involved in, heavily in social media for the last five and a half years. Mm -hmm. I've been in marketing sales for th over three decades. Okay. Worked with some of the world's largest companies, including IBM, Intel, Hewlett Packard, Apple. And to name a few. And so what I've been doing is uh, just building my network and a brand. I have over 300,000 followers now on Twitter, so I've been aggressive in that area, also LinkedIn. And I've been teaching uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, and Google for the job search. Social selling, spoken at numerous conferences throughout the U.S. in that area. I have a radio talk show on uh, tech marketing. And interview people from uh, tech mark tech companies, marketing challenges, and what tools and solutions that they suggest to their particular uh, com compatriots and what have you within the tech space. So, and also, I run a career ministry in Atlanta to help job seekers find jobs. All volunteer effort, but just to uh, help facilitate that. Cool. Sounds like you're doing a lot. Yes, correct. Awesome. So you said you mentioned something that I found interesting: find it using social media to find a job. Is that correct? Yes, correct? Can you talk a little bit more about that and some, well, some methods that people be, can use that? You'd be surprised at the number of people out there that really don't know how to use social media. They don't know how to use it to facilitate getting a job or connecting with the right people. I come across uh, hundreds if not thousands of people really have no clue how to use these tools. Mm -hmm. and they think they can sit behind a desk all day and get a job. I mean, applying through the job boards and, and what have you. But they need to take the initiative to go out, position themselves on social media and go out and be found from an inbound perspective and also to use the tools to go out and facilitate face-to-face -face meetings with potential hiring managers, talent acquisition managers at respective companies. So very, very useful uh, as far as making co connections. I mean, I know in my particular case, I've made tremendous uh, connections and that's one of the reasons I'm here now because of the fact that after building a network at social media and IBM invited me to come to this meeting in a meeting last uh, November to talk about some of their challenges and what they're trying to do and help facilitate some dissemination of the information pertaining to the conference and that. So very, very helpful. Uh, however, it's not a panacea. You have to use them as tools to get out there to meet people mm -hmm. and create those uh, relationships. What are some of the best tools that people can use? Which which networks? I mean, what's the number the one business tool is by far LinkedIn mm -hmm. as far as connectivity. However, Twitter is a great tool for driving demand and driving awareness for yourself and making connections that you can take through to LinkedIn, to uh, email, to face, excuse me, to phone calls and then face to face meetings. And it's happened to me. I've met people throughout the world, had either Skype conference calls with them or met face to face. And I was just explaining to the young lady earlier today is I've met as far away as uh, Phnom Penh, Cambodia, where I had a face-to-face -face meeting with someone I had met on Twitter, and this young guy was actually one of the top entrepreneurs in all of uh, Asia. And I would never have discovered that if it hadn't been through uh, social media. So very, very effective tool for building awareness and creating connections with people. Yeah, definitely. So you mentioned you have over 300,000 followers right. on Twitter. Um, how can we find you on Twitter, and what do you? how do you say that, how do you recommend other Twitter handles and other people to get more influencers or more uh, more uh, followers. Basically, uh, my Twitter handle is at Jeff Sheehan, uh, J E F F S H E E H A N. And as far as getting followers, I mean, it, it's been a long process. It hasn't happened overnight. Uh, I've worked my tail off with regard to that. But finding <laughs> the right people, producing content that people. Uh, it, that will resonate with people. I publish a lot of articles pertaining to marketing, social media, PR, as well as I create my own quotes and republish quotations from others. It helps motivate people, inspire people, and people generally like that. And I've created a network throughout the world, and again, I've made some tremendous uh, connections as a result. 
Awesome. So what else are you working on outside of social media and I'm IBM? I'm working on another book and maybe a, a second book after that with more, one in the job. What are the topics of the book? Uh, one is uh, with regard to Millennium's Fresh Outs, uh, with regard to that and taking the material we are currently have in the existing book and using some of that for that Millennium book and then also something back in marketing. That was my original intent with the regard to the Twitter network is to have a network for distributing a book. It was focused on marketing but it kind of got away from me due to my volunteer act efforts in the job search arena and using the content from that to produce the book which again is fairly significant it's about 330 pages so it's not a you know, lightweight ebook or whatever it's very substantive with regard to an A to Z of the uh, job search process. Awesome. So you're kind of always doing some market research on social media how it works best practices etc what are some what are some best practices for social media? Well, I think you know be engaged is one Continue to work and be consistent with your approach. Connect with the right people, follow the right people, people that are going to engage with you uh, accordingly. And I, I try to, my follower to follow, following to follow ratio is fairly consistent. I, I believe in connecting with almost anyone that reaches out to me, as long as they're not a bot. Because of the fact that you never know who you're going to meet that might help facilitate an introduction to another person. Uh, accordingly, or might have some ideas that can possibly translate into opportunities for yourself or others that you know. And I try to make connections, try to help other people find jobs or find opportunities that can really help their life better. I'm in a stage of my life where I can afford to do that and try to help others and pay it back, and pay it forward accordingly. You know, I was blessed with a long career in the high-tech industry and I'm quite fortunate in that regard. Awesome. So what are some ways you actually do interact with these new followers, some methods that I you try take? To, I try to thank them for uh, following me when I can. Uh, I try to mention them, try to retweet their materials, and connect with them on LinkedIn, and then I carry it through the emails or phone calls and face-to-face -face meetings when I can. For instance, there's uh, one young, uh, one lady I discovered, she's uh, a singer. She's actually in Belfast, Northern Ireland, and she sounds exactly like Sarah Brightman. She's phenomenal but relatively undiscovered. Another gentleman that is associated with her, he's in uh, the Channel Islands in England. He's actually uh, handicapped, he's in a wheelchair, but he's phenomenal voice. And so people like that, you can discover incredible people with all kinds of talent throughout the world that you can help facilitate maybe them becoming discovered accordingly if you put some effort into uh, trying to create some outreach for them and connecting uh, them with other people. Awesome. So it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. Very very enjoyable. I have a real passion for it. I don't mind working 16, 17 hours a day on this stuff because I have such a passion for it and try to you know, facilitate those connections and that. I have uh, my radio show. One gentleman I met. His name is David Bradford, and I hope all of you listeners follow him. It's at David Bradford on um, Twitter. He's a philanthropist. He's a executive chairman of a company called Hireview, which is in Salt Lake City. He considers himself one of the most connected people in the world. He wrote a book called Up Your Game, and Larry King wrote the forward for it. Eric Schmidt is quoted in it, uh, chairman of Google, and uh, Steve Wozniak is also someone else who is uh, within the book itself. But I met this guy, gentleman through Twitter by following him and following back and retweeting him. Went through to LinkedIn, connected with him on email, and the phone call. He was a guest on my uh, radio show last fall a phenomenal down-to-earth individual and he's so well connected and I think everyone should really follow this guy and take the take the lead with what he's been able to do. Also he was uh, with Meg Whitman, he was the finance chairman of Mitt Romney's uh, last presidential campaign. It just shows you the kind of people that you can meet if you play, you know, uh, really work Twitter and some of the other tools that are out there on social media. Now if you Peel back the onion back a few years ago, before Twitter, before LinkedIn and that, there was no way uh, that I could possibly have met someone of his stature uh, in the, the scheme of things, unless I happen to you know, sit next to an airport or sit next to on a plane, whatever. But through these tools, you can make those connections which will really help uh, you tremendously or help others with regard to uh, that. And I'm trying to make connections with him, with other people that can perhaps benefit from an association with him or he can benefit accordingly with that. Great. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I found you on Twitter and pinged you there, so um, we definitely know it's a great tool. So thanks for talking to us today. Oh, it, was, it was great having yeah, you on no, here. By the way, here's the, uh, 
I'd like to give you this. Oh, it looks like we he's written a book, so check that out. You wanna? So where can people find this book? It's on Amazon. Great, uh, and it's called Hired. Yes. So if you guys are looking for a job, go read this book and get some great tools to uh, find find jobs online, some good methods. Awesome, Ariana, and I'm Ariana Agrado here, and you're watching the Cube.